Okay, we're going to talk about eyepieces. So this is often uh, a neglected part of the microscope. First of all, what often happens is that dirt accumulates on the uh, eyepiece. These are pretty clean in this case, um, but dirt will definitely make it harder to see things. And so what you want to do is to clean them using an optical tissue and you can, uh, uh, you don't have to be too anal about it, but you can just uh, blow a little bit uh, on them and then wipe off the dirt and just visually inspect and make sure that they're nice and clean. Now something else that is important in the eyepiece is the ability to focus. So each of the eyepieces individually has a very big range and what you will often find is that they're sitting there in very strange positions, like one all the way in, the other all the way out. And to your surprise, you'll see that you're, that you're actually able to focus with your eyes even in a situation like this. But you will be focusing both eyes differently and that will not feel very good. And after observing through the microscope through a while, you will uh, feel sick to your stomach. So at the very least, before you start, make sure that the eyepieces are set somewhere in a neutral position. Now then, another issue with the eyepieces is that what you will often encounter that the image on your camera is not in the same focal plane as the image that you see through your eyepieces. And that is because the camera is focused to slightly a different plane than uh, the image you observe through the eyepieces. In the ideal world, we would have a focusing C-mount, so we would have the ability to move the camera back and forth so that we can focus the camera directly. But in reality, that is almost never the case. And the only way to now correct for this is to use the uh, eyepiece focusing. So what you want to do is to focus an image on the camera. Once it's focused there, you want to take your eyepieces, focus each of the eyes individually so that it's in the same focal plane as what your camera observes. And from then on, you can just go anywhere and look through the eyepieces, switch to the camera and have it in focus directly. So we're going to do that now. Okay, so I'm now going to first focus the image on the camera. So I use the software, I now use the focus, the fine focusing knob and I make sure that my image is more or less focused on the camera. So I now will switch to the eyepiece and observe it through the oculars and then each eye individually will find focus. So I'm trying to look at the same part that was observed on the camera there. So I focused the left eye and now keeping my right eye closed, sorry, my left eye closed, I'll focus the right eye piece and now I'm par focal with the camera. So at this point in time, wherever I go and then focus and now switch to the camera, we should be very close, if not in perfect focus. And that's exactly what we see.